our union is founded on the principles of social justice. It's founded on the principles of equality, of fairness, that an injury to one is an injury to all. And that is what binds us together, an unshakable belief that there is a better way, a fairer society, and everything we do is to fight for that fairer society. And unison activists like yourselves, from different services, different nations, different passions, different politics, united as one union, moving forward. And as General Secretary, I'm driven every day by a single, simple idea underpinning everything that we stand for, that every worker matters just as much as their boss. That principle mattered a hundred years ago, and it matters just as much today. And easy to achieve? Of course it isn't. And that's the point. Standing with those who need our help is the very opposite of easy. But with our people and our shared beliefs, we can make a difference, and we do. We're proud to be unison. 166,000 new members in the last year alone. 10,000 activists trained by us alone. 1,000 courses run by our union. 3,000 people at this conference, the biggest one that we've had for many, many years. And biggest conference um, that our black members had only recently. The biggest conference our health conference uh, had only recently. The biggest conference our women had only recently. Who says that democracy is dead? People want to participate. People want to be part of us. And as we move forward within that democracy, you've got to remember, although we have defeats, we have those victories. And it was our union unison which led the campaign against the tax credits cuts. There was no campaign until we moved in and put a stop to those cuts. And it's our union which is now leading the fight against this government's poisonous plan to axe student nurse bursaries. Our charity, There For You, supporting unison families in desperate need, victims of this government's austerity agenda. Two and a half thousand unison families supported financially by our union. Hundreds of children back to school in the right uniform. Hundreds of families keeping the heating and the lights on. That is our union at its best. And 17 councils signing the Ethical Care Charter, bringing in a living wage, ending zero-hours contracts for care workers. But much, much more to do. And then our award-winning employment rights team, our legal team winning £28 million in claims for our members. And on the question of justice, and on justice itself, let me, on behalf of this conference, pay tribute to the Hillsborough campaign, a campaign close to our heart and so many in this hall. For those families, those families, 27 years of pain, of hurt, and at the outset, when others turned their back, our union was there with moral support, financial support, and I promise you this, we were there at the start and we'll be there at the end when all 96 get the justice that they deserve. And I want to end on a personal note as your General Secretary. I meet so many of you that enrich my life. You enrich my life. You inspire me wherever I go. Everywhere I go, I'm struck by your decency, your dedication, your friendship, and the cameras that you always seem to have. You give me an unyielding belief that despite all we face, there is no obstacle that will stand in our way. Our name defines us. It's unison. It's one voice one vision, one union. We stand up and we are proud. Our union, united against racism, united against hate, united in the fight for that better future for all of our generations, all proud to be in unison. 
Thank you.